Hey guys, you join me here at Slum86. We are back on Football Manager. So as you can see, we are coming to the end of January. And before we get too far in, we're just going to quickly go for champ transfers. And you can see we've signed Gavi from Barcelona for 72 million. Um, don't know where it happened, but he's joining in the summer, so it's a bit of a waste of a signing. I thought he was getting him for the January transfer window. We are also looking at Mikel Moreno, and we are also looking at Gabriel Minito. Um, so this would be a right back to cover the loss of Chambers, and we're looking at kind of two midfielders. Um, we have lost Ashley Nathan Niles. If we go to outs, uh, we have lost. Nope, I think I have to go to transfer histories to do this. Um, where are the boys? And it's not showing up for some odd reason. Oh, there they are. Um, so they've both gone to Newcastle, which is uh, interesting enough. So Chambers and Nate Niles have both gone to Newcastle. So they are flexing their financial muscle and we're taking advantage of it. And as I say, if we go to transfers, you'll see that Pablo Mari is also under bid from Newcastle. And that's another 30 million coming towards us. So we will do that deal as well because uh, Mary is 28 and he's not really playing in the squad and we do have William Sabala to come back and that makes space for him So that is the plan going forward there. We did get in Kalulu um, To play at right back center back as cover for the season and if we can sign those um, two midfielders or one right back one midfielder We should be in a strong old position and we might look maybe at um, moving on Jacka as well Newcastle were sniffing around him too but I think they might have dropped interest in him so we'll just have to see how we go guys so we are back here today um, Premiership form is doing quite well since the last game against City um, I was going to do a bit more but um, we came back here for the Liverpool game because Liverpool are currently second in the league and we are first so we've managed to keep on winning and we did a um, good job against York in the third round of the FA Cup in terms of premiership guys uh, roughly at this halfway or just over the halfway point we are top with two points as I say from Liverpool so this is a big game if we win this we should be doing well um, United have dropped off here recently so they've had a tough whole Christmas period so as I say so far if we can do this one the fact we don't have European football and stuff all just aids to it um, and actually before we do that I should also mention that we've lost um, Bamiang, Party and Pepe to the um, African Nations Cup so they won't be back until the 6th of the 2nd so we've another couple of weeks to go without them um, so we'll see how we're getting on guys so that's it we'll get straight in here to the Liverpool game and we'll see how we get on so here we go guys just lining up for the Liverpool game and we'll see how we get on here on this one um, be nice if we can keep the winning run going I think we're unbeaten now in the definitely over 10 games so if we can keep this kind of form up and uh, really push the league on I'd be quite happy with that So we'll just see how we're going. As I say, all we have is the FA Cup and the league left. So oh, that's a bit of a waste. We'll see what we can do and we'll strengthen the squad because fingers crossed we'll be in European football next year. Obviously, we won't be playing a second year. And the plan here is we will finish out this season in the beta and then we will be deleting the save and starting a fresh um, once the game releases, I think there's about, um, as of recording this, maybe four days till release. So we will try and bang through this half a season, Ogar. Oh, we will try and bang through this half season and then we will get our single player save going. 
So, so far we've had a good bit of um, pressure on the Liverpool. They just had their first shot there 15 minutes in. And it's interesting to see the players Newcastle are going for really kind of after picking up. I won't say it's um, particularly good players from my squad, but they've picked players that I suppose I was happy to lose as well. Except for Nate Niles, I did plan to keep him. But um, we can afford to lose uh, Mary, we can afford to lose Chambers, um, Jack if he goes. Because I think once I sign this new midfielder, Mikel um, probably will end up replacing Jack and then Sammy will be the backup to those two holy midfielders. Kieran Tierney, half an hour in, obviously got a kick or something. Yeah, he's half injured. Always the way. Strained calf. Wow. Let's see, can we get him through to half time? So far, so good. And there's not really been a whole pile happening in this match. Last chance before the end of half, maybe. Oh, that's a terrible pass. Oh, we got away with that. Wow. Got away with that. So we get to half time, guys. And. Um, so we're just going to kind of tell them they need to improve. So we get the second half underway, guys. Can we get something? A draw wouldn't be a bad result. We would like to win. Um, Smith, Rowe and Saka are playing unbelievable over this Christmas period as well. Um, I think in the last game against Spurs, Smith, Rowe got the two goals to give us a 2-0 win. And two headers as well. So they really come on leaps and bounds. And I'm torn on Smith, Rowe's... Um, oh, this is dangerous. Salah, oh, good tackle. That strain Cav isn't holding back here in Tierney, although he was a little bit caught there, but... I actually forgot to do that at half time. So we're going to do it now. Bring uh, on Tavares. That change should happen there. Happy days. Saka and Smith Roar not playing well then in this game. Go figure that. We will try and encourage the entire team. Um, hmm. Interesting, we don't have much in terms of um, oh, good save, get it off the line. Good, sh yes, Lacazette is a little bit isolated, but does well there. Go on, oh, Saki could be in lovely, Dinkum. Oh, unlucky. So, we're going to try Florian on the left. After that, it could be Eddie going up front for Lacazette, who's not playing particularly well. But if he jumps in with a goal, that can all change. Tavares, bit of speed. Lovely. Oh. Oh, that, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Saka, well done. He cuts it out. Is it to chase this one? He's never really going to beat Virgil van Dijk in the air there, but yeah, I can see Liverpool sneaking. Oh, dangerous! Yeah, definitely see Liverpool sneaking a goal. So we're going to bring on Eddie up front. Gives us a bit more pace and a few more options, maybe. But we'll see. Under the clash here a little bit. Liverpool are playing well. I don't like that whole passing around the back line. 
where you get caught. Oh, oh, guard, is he true? Oh, guard. Oh. And I was sure was it a save or a block, but Jesus, that was close. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Saka with the recycling of the ball, you lovely. Back to Ben Weiss. Back out. Oh, no. That's devastating. Only one shot on target all game. This is not looking good, guys. Well done, Ramsdale. Comes out nice and strong. We demand more from the boys again into the last 10 minutes. Tommy Yeshu down the line. Where's he going? Lovely. Oh. Balogun. Back to. Oh. Bogart, oh hang on, Pentacore with a volley from, oh, I don't know, 30 yards out, what a screamer, oh we will take that guys, this could be a massive result if we can hold on here now, go 5 points clear, still a lot of football to be played, I'm fully aware of that but I'd rather be five points clear this time of year than to be chasing a five point gap. Gomez for Liverpool. Come on, Saki, get out there. Oh. Bobby. Oh. Boys have given it everything today. I can't fault this. This has been a cracker of a game. Not many highlights, but it's been, for me, an edge of the seat kind of game. Last minute, Gabriel. Oh, just too long. Oh, could have only gotten us. And that is it, guys. That sees us draw with Liverpool. It's not a bad result, don't get me wrong. We're just going to say we were unlucky. Because I think we were. Um, and then. So Tierney's injury could be worse than first feared. Um, United have a game. Well, myself and Chelt or Liverpool obviously now have a game extra played. But we shouldn't slip up there. So we're okay with that. Uh, oh, four to five weeks. Wow. That hurts. And it's a youth for Larson. Gabriel is close to that. Pacino, who's he interested in? Kieran Tierney, he can go. He's not getting that. Uh, so it's 10 matches unbeaten. So we will take that, guys. That is fantastic. And um, quickly check the schedule. I think now we're going to call it here, guys. Uh, this will be a short and sweet episode. And we will jump back in probably close to the middle of March here for the United game. That should be another cracker and we'll see how we're getting on there. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been the beta save on Football Manager 2022. And as always guys, thank you and we'll see you all again. Take care.